finance, markets, and politics at fattailedandhappy.com. Follow us at Twitter at fattailedhappy. Hey guys, welcome to this, the first ever video on the Fat Tailed and Happy YouTube channel. When I set out to create the Fat Tailed and Happy website, uh, my intention was to really be able to provide a lot of education to people who were really inclined to learn about the techniques of finance, but maybe didn't have quite the background. So when I thought about what should be the first topic, there was really only one place to start, and that is in Monte Carlo simulation. So what is Monte Carlo simulation? Well, it gets its name from the old casinos at Monte Carlo where people were playing dice games and card games and other probabilistic games of chance. But the basic idea behind it is you're going to come up with some random process and then you'll simulate that random process tens and tens and thousands of times. And by applying some kind of valuation technique or some kind of transformation or something else to the actual simulations, you'll be able to learn a lot about what it is that you're trying to understand. Now this may not make a ton of sense right now, um, but hopefully that's the intention. And we're going to start with this video, which is a very simple exercise, and then we'll gradually move into more real-world uh, applications of Monte Carlo techniques, including option valuation and modeling of stock prices so that uh, people can understand a little bit better how financial planners usually come up with safe withdrawal rates and things of that nature. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Um, what I would like to do in this first video very quickly is to simulate kind of a dice game. I want to accomplish two things. So I'll put these in as a note up here. And I will publish this these spreadsheets on the website so people can refer to them. So the objective number one, everybody understands rolling dice. I mean, we've all played Monopoly from the time we were four or five years old. Um, or, you know, some of you that might enjoy rolling craps certainly understand the different probabilities of getting a particular outcome. So the very most basic concept is let's figure out what are the probabilities of any given dice roll. Okay? Now, that's not all that challenging. You can certainly sit down and write them out. Um, anybody who's done it in a statistics class is probably familiar with that concept. So let's make it a little more interesting. Let's create a more challenging numerical exercise to see, all right, what does Monte Carlo allow us to do? So let's say, let's say there's a new game in a casino and the rules of it are going to be you're going to win $10 if the total, if first, the total of the two dice is greater than seven, and second, the difference between each die is more than, more than or equal to two. Okay. And I'm aware again. We could actually sit down and write down these, you know, all of the uh, all of the potential outcomes of the dice. But Monte Carlo, the power of it is you don't really have to come up with that. You can kind of just brute force it. So it's a really great technique. So with that, let's uh, let's get started. So if we want to simulate two dice, then obviously we're going to need some dice. So dice number one, die, I guess number one will be here in column A. Die number two will be in column B. To actually simulate the random process of each dice, we're going to use what's called the uh, rand between function in Excel. And what that does is gives you a random outcome between any two numbers with equal probability. So it's exactly like rolling a die. So we're going to want a random number between 1 and 6. That will become our first die, and then the second one will do the same thing. Rand between one and six. Okay, and then you can hit F9, and each F time you hit F9, it's gonna give you brand new numbers. This is Excel's internal randomization scheme. So rather than sitting here and hitting F9 a bunch of times, what I'm gonna do is copy these two cells, copy them down, for 10,000 iterations or thereabouts.
Okay. I don't know how many this is. This looks like oh uh, about ten thousand or one hundred, five fifty or so. That's that's fine. Okay, so now we've got ten thousand outcomes of rolling dice. And so Monte Carlo is basically the principle of doing something with those ten thousand simulations. So the first is we want to know what the probabilities of any given dice roll are. So we're going to need to know what the sum of these two are. Add another column here, and we just simply add the two numbers. Double click on the bottom right to autofill down. And that's going to give me the total of 10,000 rolls of two different dice. Okay, now we know that dice can have any value between 2 and 12. And the only thing we then need to do is use the count if function. This is a really useful function for those of you that are just starting out in Excel maybe. What this does is it's going to look in a particular range. Here it's going to be in column C and it's going to tell us how many twos are in column C. So we want it to be in column C and we want the number of twos which is here in J9. And then when I fill it down it's going to give me threes through twelves. Okay, so that's the total frequency. And if we want to know how many actual simulations we're running, we can add everything between K9 and K19. 10,169. So that's the number of simulations. If we want to then turn this into an actual probability, all we need to do is divide each number by the total number, which is in K21. And from this, we then get the correct probabilities of a particular dice outcome. So quickly format those into percentages, and we can indeed confirm that number seven is the most frequently observed outcome. Okay, so that's objective number one for this video. Now number two, what Monte Carlo is going to ultimately allow us to do is to calculate the value of an option at expiration, or to calculate a portfolio value, or something else. So we have numbers right now, but we haven't done anything with them. So let's move on to our second objective where we're going to play a game with these. And we'll call this the payoff. So we said we're going to win $10 if the sum of the two dice is greater than 7 and the difference between the two dice is greater than or equal to 2. Actually, let me move that there and we'll say the difference. And I'm going to use absolute value, so I only have to do this one time. I'll fill down. Okay, so you can see, for example, here I rolled a 6 and a 5, I've got a difference of 1. I rolled a 4 and a 2, I've got a difference of 2, and so on and so forth. So we only get paid if that number is greater than or equal to 2, and if the sum of the two dice is greater than or equal to 7. So I'm going to use a conditional if. It's going to say, if the sum of the two, actually I need an and, if the sum of the two is greater than 7, and the difference is greater than or equal to 2. And I'm going to win $10. Otherwise, I'm going to get nothing. Okay? So now when I autofill that down, every time I see $10 here, that means that my particular condition is satisfied. So, we can then figure out what is a fair cost to play this game. If I was to offer you the choice to engage in this or not, but I was going to say it's going to cost you $5 to play this game with me, would you be willing to do that? The answer, as, as with everything in economics, is it depends. But we can actually now calculate the expected per roll payoff of this particular game. So to do that, we just need to sum over all of the observations that we had in column E and divide by the total number of simulations. And we get, this is now a currency, a value of about $2 and somewhere between $2 and $20, $2.30. This means every time you sit down at the table to play this game, you're going to expect to make about $2.30. Okay? That expected value is going to have a complete corollary when we look at options. And when we look at the value of securities under uncertainty, 
but that will be for another video in the future. So if you've liked this, this quick introduction to Monte Carlo, please leave some comments below. Um, feel free to ask for any particular other topic of instruction that might be of interest to you. And I would really appreciate if you could visit over at fattailedandhappy.com and please join our mailing list there. Uh, you can also follow on Twitter at fattailedhappy. And I look forward to uh, seeing you guys again very soon. Thanks.